A giant sinkhole has opened up near a busy road, and now there's a debate over who is responsible for fixing this thing. News 4's Carly Gordon working to get to the bottom of it tonight. We're not talking about a tiny sinkhole. Taking a look up at Drone 4, you can see this thing is huge. It's full of water. There's a utility pole inside of it. No doubt the repairs will be expensive. The question tonight is who's going to foot the bill? Drive by Gary Matthews on Clarksville's Ashland City Road and you can't miss it. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that. This sinkhole, we're told, opened up in July and it's been getting bigger and bigger ever since. It could go to the road. Golly, it's terrible. Here's the issue. People who work nearby say the sinkhole is on state property, but they say the owner of Gary Matthews used cars was granted an easement years ago. And back then, he even paid to have pipes placed underground. Right now, neither TDOT nor the property owner seem to be making a move to fix the problem. So meanwhile, this growing and gaping hole sits right next to a busy road. Many worry a potential accident waiting to happen. It's got to be fixed. Somebody's going to have to be involved. Somebody could get hurt. They're dangerous. Carly Gordon reporting there. Well, TDOT did get back to us this afternoon. They say because the sinkhole has worsened, they are reevaluating their options with the involved parties. Now, as for employees at Gary Matthews, they declined a request for an on-camera interview. This is not the first sinkhole we have seen this week in Middle Tennessee. Yeah, we are all talking about this thing, Dan Thomas, uh, that round one, that really like symmetrical round yes. one, right? Why does Tennessee get so many of these things? Well, Tennessee has a lot of rain, but Tennessee also has a lot of limestone and limestone is the state rock of Tennessee. So we get rain that goes down into the ground and it actually penetrates and it dissolves the rock through a chemical reaction and then the cavity forms or an open expanse beneath that ground and eventually that ground above does weaken and in times it can fail like we had in Clarksville this week in Murfreesboro earlier in the week.